Hey, what's going on guys? Uh, today I want to talk about in terms of how to make daily watch list that you can use to trade for tomorrow. Uh, so a few things that I want to really mention in terms of what you really want to see in a daily watch list. The first thing that we will try to find out is in terms of uh, stocks that have continuation move. Right. So when you talk about continuation, uh, what I'm really talking about is uh, if the stock has gone up today and hopefully it has gone sideways during the intraday and we are waiting for a break of the highs to see uh, the upside tomorrow right so that's a continuation move or maybe the stock has actually gone down and it has consolidated on the sideways and hopefully we can see a breakdown so that's a continuation move uh, the second thing that we want to talk about is in terms of uh, any sign of reversals Right, so when you talk about reversals, uh, what I'm really talking about is, let's take a look. So reversal patterns is stock that has gone up and now probably is finding, uh, came down, is finds a lower low and a higher low and actually goes down, right? So these are reversal moves that I'm trying to find. Uh, or it could be the stocks that have actually gone down and now it has actually uh, tried to bounce, goes up, and so this is the move you're trying to find, right? So you're trying to find either a reversal move or you're trying to find a continuation move. So let's hop on to Finvis to take a look on how to find the first one, which is a continuation move. Right. Uh, so we go on screeners and of course you want to go stocks only. That's the stocks you want to trade. Uh, we also want to trade stocks which have a lot of volume. Right. So we want to go and uh, do stocks which have traded over 750,000 shares traded today. Uh, one thing that I also like to do is in terms of taking a look at relative volume, right? Because relative volume shows if there has been a lot of interest in the name on the stock today, right? The more, the better. So relative volume is, um, so what it really, it means is, let's say, for example, I pull out this ADI. Uh, what relative volume really is, is generally it traded about 3 million shares on the past three months, past 90 days. It trades about 3 million. Today, it has actually traded more than double of it, right? So if you take a look on this today's, this today's trading volume, today it has traded about 6.4 million shares, right? So that's why you see relative volume, which is the today's volume divided by the average volume, you get about 2.03. So that's one of the criteria you want to take a look at. Uh, shares that have traded quite a bit, um, over 750,000 shares too. Uh, I generally want to try to trade stocks which has over 10 bucks. Uh, I'd really turn on a trade um, penny stocks and so on, right? So over ten dollars, and what you also want to see is stocks have changed up more than three percent and change from open up, right? So change from up three percent means the stock has gone up more than three percent for the day. Uh, change from open is up means uh, the stock has actually closed higher for today, right? So let's take a look at in terms of what exactly the names we see. Right. Uh, now, if you are trying to trade the continuation move, what I also would like to see is in terms of stock it has been trading over the 200 day moving average, over the 50 day moving average, as well as over the 20 day moving average. All right. So let me just recap in terms of what we have done on here. The first criteria to find a continuation move, right? Uh, number one is industry stocks only, relative volume over two, which means there is a more interest in this name today as compared to other days. Uh, I need a decent volume over 750,000 and the price which is over 10 bucks. All right, so there's no penny stocks that you will see. The other criteria I've put on here in terms of technical indicators, uh, first of all, in the change should be over 3%, which means the stock has, uh, the change on the stock has been more than 3% for the day. Change from open is up, so means it's not a stock. Uh, so change open means the stock open over here is actually, the close has to be above this, right? It cannot be under this. Uh, changes up 3%. And if you want to find strong stocks, you do stocks which is over the 200 day moving average, over the 50 day moving average, and over the 20 day moving average. So we end up with six stocks, right? Not a lot of names. Now, what you see on here, uh, I'll show you this EHTH. If you try to do this scan yesterday, right, what you would have find on this one, uh, if you ran the exact same screeners, right, the ones that I did, did today, uh, if you did exact same thing yesterday, 
right? ESTH would be one of the names that would have showed up because if you look at all these criteria that I put on here, um, right? Relative volume over two, all of this, and over the moving averages of 3% or up. So this is a name that you would have, it would have shown up yesterday in your scanners, right? Uh, if you were trying to do a nightly watch list. Um, so if you take a look on this, you know what, this stock traded very, very, very strong the day before, and today has actually broke the highs, and it had another $3 move. So this is the kind of move that you would talk about continuation. Stocks that have trended nicely, and now probably if it breaks the high of the day, uh, the day before, uh, we won't really go and trade on the long side. So that's the kind of move that you see on here that we're trying to see. This is the kind of move that you want to see. So when you take a look on uh, the stocks over here, right? Uh, take a look on the 30 minute chart, see you know, what, what, has, what is really going on. So right off the bat, what I see on here is this XLNX, right? This XLNX is a name which is of interest. Now, why is it of interest? Is, I mean, if you take a look on this, this stock went from what, $97 to 108. Right, that's quite a bit of almost 108, right? So it's quite a bit of a move and it did a nice digestion sideways, right? That's what you want to see as well, right? So key factors that you want to take a look on Excel and X really is if tomorrow right in the morning it drops to 104 and it holds on to this 104, then chances are it can rebound. Um, few reasons why. Number one is actually a support region over here, this 104, right? It's trying to test over here try to do a test, try to break down over here. And the 20 day moving average is somewhere around this 104 region as well. So if you want to go and buy support at 104 and trade it towards against the highs of 108, that's really going to be a good trade. So that's XLNX. Uh, EHTH, uh, it still looks like a good name as well, right? If you look on this EHTH, I mean, this is making another move over here. It went sideways, right? Uh, possibly if it tries to break again over the 55 level, it can probably go again. Uh, AZPN, uh, not a really good interest. I mean, it didn't really hold up. Uh, HXL, right? So let's look at HXL. Uh, HXL is not really a great name because I mean, it is running into all these resistances over here, right? So I don't really like to trade stocks which is running to resistance. So we remove the HXL. Uh, ADI. Uh, we already talked about this ADI. Uh, so yeah, I mean, based on all this, uh, you know what, this XLNX and ADI looks like the two good names based on this breakup, breakout on the upside. Now to find the stars, which is potentially can break down downside. Uh, very easy. What we really do is we just flip everything over. Below the 20 day, uh, below the 50 day, below the 200 day, now change is going to be down 3% because you want to find weak stocks, right? Um, so we come up with eight names, right? So out of these eight names, what I really want to see right off the bat uh, is in terms of uh, on 30 minute chart, see how this stock has actually done intraday, right? So if you take a look on this one, you know what? Uh, this MO doesn't really look that great, right? It can actually add a bounce over here. Called is really a big mess over here. ORI. Uh, don't really find it that great. I mean, it, it had it came down. I mean, this is actually forming a reversal pattern, right? Uh, Ghost, nothing really good over here. Uh, FCX, nothing going on over here. Cannot really trade this in a continuation pattern. Uh, LOB, probably not. Uh, nothing with BGG or WBE. So on the downside, nothing, right? So we've done this. Now in terms of reversal patterns, Reversal patterns, we want to see something which has gone up pretty high, right? So same theory on this one. Um, so if you try to find, go back to screener, industry stocks only. Uh, once again, I want to have over 750,000. In this one, a subtle difference that I really want to do is in terms of price above SMA 200, price above SMA 50, price above SMA 20. Now we're trying to find this kind of pattern or a really stock comp which has really started going and probably versus right uh, i want to have something which has a high rsi which is rsi over 90. right off the bat we don't see anything so it means not a lot of stocks are really extended to the upside yet right over 80 uh we still see quite a bit of names over 80 uh, but you know what over 90 is really my preferred region because then there's a big snapback opportunity 
So nothing to see on the reversal side. Now, if you want, want to go and find stocks uh, like this one, right? We just flip everything around. And RSI oversold under 10. So nothing on too much extended either way. Over 20, you want to see, yeah, I mean, this is a 53 cent stock. So I'm not going to involve in this. So no patterns that I see on here for the reversal patterns, right? The reversal pattern is stock going up, forms a lower high and breaks down. Our stock going down, uh, goes up, comes back, and then bounces. Uh, if you don't know why I'm looking at RSI, uh, let me show you what RSI really is. Uh, so for example, PCG, uh, this is the RSI indicator over here, right? Uh, what, the reason why I'm looking at RSI over 10 is uh, you want stocks which is really, really stretched to the downside. Right? If it's really stretched stretch to the downside, chances are it can rebound. Right? For example, in this one, you see the stock has been really, really stretched down. And when you get a rebound, it's actually pretty substantial. Uh, same thing on the upside. Uh, why you want to find super high uh, RSIs is, of course, uh, I want to find something over 90. Right? In this one, you don't really see over 90. It went up pretty close to 80. Right in this one, it went up to somewhere around 90 region, right? So you see this overly stretched on the upside. It has a potential for a snapback, right? So that's the one easy way to try to find stocks for a continuation pattern or a reversal pattern. Uh, hey guys, if you like the video, do like and subscribe. It's going to keep me motivated to make more video for you guys, for you to make more money. Have a good one.